Hey, what's going on friends and family? My name is Skylands, hi, and today we're gonna to be talking about the best free-to-play low-spec MMOs, in my opinion. This is kind of my specialty, coming from a background of playing free-to-play MMOs, especially on low-spec systems. This selection is going to be good enough for most people, but there is gonna be some debate here because low-spec to one person might mean something different, and so I'm gonna have kind of a different variety. Really, I didn't just wanna spam browser MMOs, because I could have done that. I didn't just wanna spam, like, you know, the popular MMOs, I'm trying to do a mix Mix and match here, and of course with with the different genres as well, because I could just throw in a bunch of famous old games. But then again, uh, also I want to have games that are actually relevant. So yeah, I know MMO games are so prohibitive for so many reasons, and the graphical intensity, yeah, especially because of massive numbers of players, and then you know the, all the polygons, it can really fry a PC. But uh, these games should be easy to jump into and have a blast with. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out five games that I haven't really talked about previously that uh, should be a little bit new to you, at least in terms of the free to play low spec space. All right, guys, the first game that I want to talk about is Albion Online, the sandbox MMORPG that was really first designed for phones and has now since transitioned to mainly focusing on PC gameplay. It's still cross platform and you can still comfortably enough, I say, uh, you can play on like big screen tablets, maybe like the Nvidia Shield at the smallest. And, you know, from there, you can do a little Farmville, you can do a little grinding, a lot of grinding in this game, but it is a PvP sandbox MMO. And at some points, you, when you go into these big cities or if there's a Zerg rush, it can get kind of chunky. Uh, depending on your, well, low specedness of your PC. Now, all the games on this list are actually going to be 3D because I do have a 2D list. I also have a browser MMO list. You should go watch those videos. And I I'm even gonna do like a super classic old school MMO list for ancient games. But this list is gonna be games like Albion Online. But if you can't run Albion completely, don't worry. It is a sandbox game and it is the most graphically empowered game on this list. It gets easier and easier as we go through. So, shall we? Yep, EVE Online. EVE Online, I think, is going to be debatable and uh, dubious because I never played this game on any other machine other than my rig, which has an i7 and a 970, but I did do a little bit of research, and it seems that many people are able to play this game uh, very comfortably with laptops, and that's going to be kind of a boon here. I know when you're looking for free low-spec MMOs, you're probably wanting to play at, like, maybe, I don't know, like, an office computer, maybe your laptop when you're traveling. You just want something that you can lightly play, and generally the gameplay around those type of titles should match that, and EVE Online does. It it's a grinder game just like Albion. It's a game that you might want to log in. Maybe you do play on PC generally, but you might want to log in and do a little bit of work, a little bit of maintenance uh, with your account uh, when it comes to, you know, playing at EVE Online on the go. You might just want to do that. So EVE Online, space sandbox game. In fact, it, it really, really intensely inspired Albion Online, which also made the list. And so many systems are in parallel. Those two games really go hand in hand together. Uh, but EVE Online can be incredibly graphically intensive. Also, it technically has the world record for like the most amount of people in an epic battle. Um, that's going to make anybody's PC chug. But for the 99% like day to day gameplay for EVE Online, it can be played comfortably, I think, on overwhelmingly the majority of machines. You, do, you just don't need super high fidelity, super high frame rate, super insane, you know, response time to comfortably enjoy what is EVE Online. And halfway on the list here. We have Adventure Quest 3D, another just like Albion Online that is a cross-platform MMO. And for the most part, any game that is cross-platform is generally going to be a low-spec friendly because it literally needs to run on whatever it's crossing over with. If that's a console, if that's the phones especially, well, Adventure Quest 3D is going to be one of those games. Also, it's a game that, uh, well, it's not it's not the most like standstill game. It's it's got some action, um, but it's just very cartoon, you know. It, it, also, the levels are very constrained. It's not a giant open world sandbox or universe like the two other games that we mentioned already, but it's a game that's really focused on just kind of like the, the really cutesy you like, you know, just uh, little little encounters that you have, you know, fighting a dragon, chicken, whatever, <laughs> uh, you know, going around and killing silly monsters. Uh, there's like in-game concerts and things like that. Uh, hanging around, you know, the, the hub towns and, and chatting around with people. It's really more of a social style uh, game, which a lot of people overlook this because the trailers don't look. Well, obviously, it's not Black Desert. But then again, if you're typing in a list like this, you probably are looking for maybe something a little bit more lighter and social and comic book inspired. And that's definitely Adventure Quest 3D. In fact, that the 
previous adventure quest was literally like a comic book RPG that, that was played online. It, it was hilarious and it was really good actually, very popular still even. And I could put that on the list, but again, I wanted to put 3D games, low spec 3D games on this list. So Adventure Quest 3D, um, don't overlook it. It's legitimately good whether you play it on mobile devices or on the PC. Next up, uh, Toontown. Toontown is a game. That's a game that actually exists, guys. Uh, this is a game that a lot of lists d don't talk about, a lot of people don't cover it on YouTube, because it, this is kind of a private server, and I think I, I want to cover more games like this. Uh, more games that are like childish and friendly and silly, sure, absolutely, but also more uh, technically unofficial games, such as uh, Warhammer, Return of Reckoning, and, and things like that. I'm absolutely all about that. I, I really uh, enjoy games like this that are, that are really fueled by their community. In fact, I actually went to Toontown's convention one year, and it was really cool to see everyone. Uh, they were just dressed all silly. They used their names, their in-game names, and I don't know. They were just playing the game at the convention. It was it was cute. It was cute. Anyways, the actual gameplay. Okay. Um. Well, it's it's really community focused. It's very similar to Adventure Quest 3D, and of course, in a low spec MMO game, maybe the emphasis wouldn't always be on combat. I mean, the most combat intensive game on here is Albion Online, and that's still top down. Uh, and very, you know, simplistic. Uh, Toontown Rewritten is a turn-based combat game uh, that focuses more on kind of like a mini-game sort of centric uh, gameplay. And again, it's really more about that sense of community and that socializing sort of aspect. It's very cute, it's very friendly, uh, fun for the whole family, I definitely think so. And it's something, again, that's very often overlooked and I'm, I'm really happy to be able to put it on a list. I need to go deeper with it and I will with this game and many other similar games coming next year. So definitely peel some eyeballs on the Patreon, please and thank you to support that endeavor. Okay, so the next game I want to talk about is Steam Birds Alliance. Yeah, being developed and published by Spry Fox, a company that I've been following ever since, I don't know, Triple Town? You guys remember that on mobile? I've played all their games, I've really enjoyed them, and I think Steam Birds Alliance is a cool attempt. Also, some of the original developers that made Realm of the Mad God, which this game is directly inspired by, well, they, they, they're they helping make this game, okay? So anyways, Steam Birds Alliance is a spiritual successor in a way to Realm of the Mad God, which is still doing really, really, really Freaking good. Um, this is a you know top-down shoot 'em up MMO uh, that has anthropomorphic birds uh, in steampunk like airplanes shooting robot cat things. It, you know, it's neat. It's fun for the whole family. Uh, I think it's it's a cool game, but it is underloved. And it is a game that is overshadowed by Realm of the Mad God. But um, definitely as a newcomer, you know, it's got potential. Still, we gotta admit, you know, low spec games, they tend to be niche, hyper focused titles, and they're not always the most explosive or popular, but sometimes, you know, they, they can they can find an audience and they can keep on going. Now, we see that with Adventure Quest and see what that has become a whole franchise. And Albion Online is still doing great as well, despite a really slow, rocky start. So, you know, with time, with momentum, basically these are games that anybody can play at any time, you never know these games can keep the hype alive. So Steambirds Alliance is definitely one not to just pass off as like, well, they tried, it's over, um, you know, just keep going back to Realm of the Mad God. No, I think, you know, this one deserves a, a shot as well. Yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be it for my list of five games uh, that are free to play as well as being low spec MMOs. I uh, also keep in mind, I did pick new games uh, and I do kind of expect you guys to appreciate and respect the fact that these are 3D low spec games. If you want 2D MMOs, I've done lists on that and I could do it again. I'm also going to do a new list on classic and old MMOs that are still worth playing. Spoiler alert, Meridian 59 was actually really freaking cool. So I'm going to do more of those. Uh, hopefully you guys can support the channel like subscribe and share the videos and if you want to there's a donation button uh, you know in the description somewhere and yeah that's it i mean all i can ask is that you guys have fun with the videos i'm having fun making them and i want to play more of these games and not just play them but i want to go even deeper you know i would love to do some more deeper lists other than just hey here's some games i would love to be like hey here's some really cool aspects of these games like oh what are the best end game mmos that's gonna take some time you know so anyways extended outro out <laughs> just keep the hype alive my name's Skylant, and I'll see you again next time.